Nothing screams Christmas like gingerbread men. It is the epitome of the holiday season. It is the color, the smell, the texture, the creativity. It is what makes Christmas Christmas. And in this video, we're gonna do gingerbread men. Let's get into it. dry ingredients together give it a light mix so all the ingredients is blended then add in your wet ingredients starting with your oil followed by your eggs mix and finally add in the syrup in the US it is called cane syrup while in the rest of the world it is called golden syrup using your spoon keep on mixing until it becomes difficult move the dough onto the counter and bring the ingredients together. If the dough is still wet and sticky, all you need to do is add more flour until the dough is no longer sticky and has become firm. Top tip, slice the dough into two parts and add the first portion between the two pieces of parchment paper. Roll out the dough, it should be no thicker than about a quarter of an inch and place it in the freezer for about 10 minutes or until the dough is cold and hard. This makes it much easier to work. Take off the top layer of parchment paper and then use your cookie cutters to make your shapes. Remember, the dough that is left over is put into a ball and rolled out again, so there's no need for any wastage. Now the time has come to decorate these masterpieces. I am using red and green sugar, but you can decorate them however you feel works best for your friends and family. Here's an incredible story about gingerbread. Gingerbread dates back from the 15th century and figurative biscuit making was practiced in the 16th century. The first documented instance of figure-shaped gingerbread biscuits or cookies was at the court of Elizabeth I of England. She had the gingerbread figures made and presented in the likeness of some of her essential guests. Cool, we're good to get them in the oven. Let's get them in, preheated at 350 degrees. Gingerbread have just come out the oven. They are smelling beyond incredible. The ginger smell is to die for. If you want to ice the gingerbread pieces, I have a recipe for icing in the description below. Remember, you will need a piping bag and a piping point. Okay, so we've now done all of the gingerbread men. Here is a sample of some of the stuff that we've done. You guys can be creative or do whatever you want to do from a icing perspective. I will leave in the description below a quick and easy way to create some icing for you to ice on top of the uh, gingerbread men. How brilliant is this? We've now had it decorated. This is my little Picasso and you can do your own little Picasso as well. This is what makes Christmas Christmas. You can have any shape, any color, any texture. You can have it with sugar, with icing, with both, with neither. This is all about you. And you know what? If your family and if your guests don't like it, it is on them, not on you. This will be a hit. Makes no difference what you do, how you do it, when you do it. It's all about Christmas and Christmas is about the joy of giving. So let it give and let it be wow. And that is all about this bake. And with that, catch you guys on the next one.